Welcome to today's video. So on the video today, what we're going to be focusing on is a dimensional color. We're going to add multi-dimension uh, natural copper tones to this blonde uh, canvas. So what I did was I did zigzag partings all the way separating the top and the bottom of the head where it's a good reference point to just go right at the parietal ridge and start your zigzag and work your way around. The two tones that I'm picking is 7NC Joico Demi Permanent hair color, and then also the 10 in C uh, natural copper Joico with five volume. Uh, and I'm going to start by working that deeper tone into the hair. So right at that zigzag parting, I'm going to paint the 7 in C and I'm going to work that through to the mid shaft. Now I like to kind of outline the pattern first and really get that depth building up because that's where I want it to um, appear the most. So I start working my way through. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work that down into the mid shaft all the way through this section uh, like you're seeing here. And then once I get to that mid shaft, then I'm going to paint the 10 in C through the ends, blending those two tones together just a little bit, creating almost like a third color. So it's lighter than a seven, um, but it's not as light as a 10. So just kind of pulling that through, adding that brightness to it. The brightest tone naturally should be on the very top of the head. So that's where we're going to go just with the 10 NC, which I'll show you guys in a bit. Now, a couple key things I want you to notice. I paint very heavy the 7 NC up into those triangles because that's where I want to create the depth and the shadow. Because if you think about natural hair, underneath all those triangles, um, that's where the sun doesn't really hit the hair. So it definitely um, should naturally just be darker than the rest of the hair. So through the ends, you don't want to create that depth. So if you go back to the 90s when we were coloring hair, the, the early 2000s, um, we were coloring that the bottom very dark and the top very light. This is kind of a variation of that, creating the depth in the middle, the deepest part in the middle. But then towards the ends, like everything I'm painting right now is the 10 and C because I want the ends to still be light. That's what it naturally should be anyways. We're looking to create beautiful hair in the salon, not necessarily um, creating a two-tone look that doesn't uh, mix and match together. So again, 7NC getting painted at the root all the way to the mid shaft. Then once I get to the mid shaft, I paint the 10NC through the rest of the color, blending those two colors together, doing kind of a color melting. Uh, color melting is just short for take the one color, pull it into the other color and you get another color. Uh, so it's a pretty simple technique. Now I go through the pattern that we created on the top, which brings the depth in those triangles into it. And I'm just going straight up 10 and C through the entire top of the head. And I love like, I love when you already see a color, um, like this is a newer color for me to work with the 10 and C, but when I see it just kind of making that salmon-y color right on the top of the hair, I know it's going to sing at the very end when I get it blown dry. So uh, I was already excited about this technique before I even processed the whole thing. So you can see how the technique plays out. You can see the triangles. You can see how deep we went with them. Uh, it's just really breaking it up and adding the depth. The 10 in C with five volume on top, seven in C uh, roots to mid shaft, and then uh, 10 in C five volume on the ends, color melting that together to create that end result and the technique. So you can see how deep that 7NC is getting already. That's the goal. So now I go in with Joico Power Spray um, just to give it a nice hold. I wanted to show you guys that end result. You can see how soft and beautiful that 10NC is coming over. You could also see the depth playing out there. I'm going to show you guys some more views of that as well. As I start to brush it over, look at the 7 and see how deep it looks and the dimension that it creates and the movement it creates. This is a super layered haircut. If you guys remember seeing this haircut, I did it. Um, on a, a few videos ago, created a long shag bob. Um, so you know how short these layers are. So the depth is created in there, but it's not stripey. It looks really cool. So I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching.